Hey, what's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4 Promise Revisited. The last set of character demos we did were all of the uh, default humanoid classes. In this episode, we got eight more classes to show you. That would be these guys you see here. Starting off, we have the we have the uh, 20, 50, 100, 200, 400 tier. The Archer. To unlock the Archer, you need a Healer and Valkyrie, both level 15. Their fortes are Spears and Bows, learning 3 Spear skills and 6 Bow skills, plus the ninth tier. As you can see, they have a very high hit aptitude, so, uh... Yeah, pair... They also have high res for some reason. Why do they have high res? That's weird. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, you can see uh, their reveality, Excel Shot, uh, makes them very much a ranged fighter. Giving them a bonus the uh, longer range their attacks are. I might have to dig up a bow to give her, I don't know. Hawk Down increases damage to flying enemies. Uh, an enemy is flying type if it can uh, run right through uh, your guys. Bleh. As for her other two abilities, Boy Hunt does more damage to male enemies, and Bow Range Up increases her range. Uh, her, the range of bow attacks by one. Let's uh, grab a bow for her out of storage. Ooh, this will work. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, we got five panel range instead of four. Let's bring her into battle and see what she can do. As you can see, she's got a, she's got five different types of uh, status effect attacks. These do, well, they apparently do damage as well as inflicting a status effect. So, uh, yeah. Don't mess with archers. <laughs> you want to get shot with an arrow? Because this is how you get shot with an arrow. Yeah, yeah, Masked Hero. You'll get your turn, eventually. <laughs> it's the random washtub falling on his head. It's not the arrow that does it, it's the washtub. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Very pink. Well, uh, 
uh, since we don't uh, very well have a uh, multi-target attack for you, let's just uh, let Gingerbread take them out. Next up, we have another class, uh, obviously. We're not quite done yet. <laughs> We have the Beastmaster, which you unlock by having a level 15 Warrior and Valkyrie. Uh, Beastmasters are all about monster type units. Uh, they learn 5 each of the Spear, Axe, and Bow skills. And as you can see, just by being near a monster, you can buff them by 20%. Synchronize uh, gives a 99% chance of a team attack with a monster. Pretty cool. Her abilities uh, seem to cover the uh, physical stats. Which I guess is really not too much of a surprise. <laughs> Checking out her other abilities, we have Dark Blood, which increase, which buffs the Beastmaster when there are monsters on the map. And Magic Change Weapon Master, which increases aptitude by 20% with a Magic Change weapon. That's pretty okay, well, let's see how she does on the battlefield. Wrong battlefield. Oh well. Wild Groom. Increase monsters EXP and mana by 50%. So, uh, this is evidently something you would use on an enemy monster to, uh, turn them into experienced pinatas. Boom. We also have Dominate, which uh, powers up target monsters. Is this all three attack skills? Yep. Sadly, it does not affect speed. Well, actually, why would it matter if... Yeah, why would raising speed matter on a monster? Derp. It's not like they can equip fists and guns. <laughs> Pew. Well, for a second I would have had to sneeze there, but I guess not. <laughs> Next class is the Gunner, which you unlock by having a Thief and Skull at level 15. Gunners, uh, true to their name, are all about guns. What? They can't learn fist skills, can they? I must notice! No, not you! I don't want to go to the X Dimension. Trying to... Trying to check out John Wick's skill list. Whoops. Yeah, that's what I thought. They don't learn fist skills at all. Game, stop lying to me. But wait, 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 wait. Okay, they do in fact learn fist skills. Uh, bleh. Here, five or six of. I have no idea. Let's look it up. I got game facts open right here. Three tiers of fist skills? Really? Good. Did I. Oh, wait, that's right. I made him a bouncer before I made him a gunner. <laughs> Whoops. Kind of uh, forgot all about that. So, yeah, uh, three fist skills and six gun skills, plus the ninth tier. As for his abilities, uh, marking gives a 100% increase, or. Er, 100% increase, yes. 100% crit rate to allies in the, uh, next in the combo. 
assist uh, is the same thing, but with accuracy. This is definitely a unit you will want for taking out those uh, pesky item gods. As for, um... I'm pretty sure these are also bouncer abilities. <laughs> so instead, we have second attack, which increases your damage if you're part of a combo. And gun trit, adding a bit of hit to your speed when the gun when a gun is equipped. Pretty cool. Let's see how he does on the battlefield. Where are we at? Ten minutes? That's uh that's A-OK -okay in my book. Here I go! Jumping Rock Toss! All you're doing is throwing a rock at an enemy. Very, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics here. Oh, it's got an even longer range than, uh, most guns. Overstrike. The further the distance, the more damage it does. Let's see it. Here I go. Cool. That was a million damage. At a uh, at base stats, no less. Well, mostly base stats. I guess he does have a pretty neat gun. To get rid of these other guys. Bonk. <laughs> <clears throat> Next up, we've got the Sorcerer. Sorcerers are all about debuffing. If you take a look at their uh, skills, they learn all six debuff spells, as well as all five status effects spells. So, uh, that's pretty great. Her aptitudes uh, very clearly favor Int, so if you still want to make her an offensive caster, go for magic. Wow, that was about as redundant as it could get. <laughs> Cursed Dance. Just by having them on the map, you automatically debuff your enemies by 5%. Hazard Dance uh, gives them an extra 20% chance of uh, getting some kind of status ailment. Her other abilities are Ominous Dance, which lowers evasion of enemies on map, and Ruin Dance, which uh, lowers element stats. That would be your fire, wind, and ice resistance. So yeah, definitely a, a good character to have uh, way in the back, just uh, causing trouble for the other guys. Of course, they're probably a good bit more effective in enemy hands, uh, considering how many guys they can have out on the field at once. So yeah, aptitude down decreases a target's aptitudes. Let's uh, see what's up. Aptitude 50%. If we look into this guy's stats, uh, you can see that all of his aptitudes have become 50%. Not all that useful in the post game, but I guess you could... Uh, Figure out something to do with it by it with your uh, with your thingy in the main story. That is. Besides that, she has Curse Storm, which has an eighty percent chance of uh, inflicting all enemies with multiple status ailments. Sounds pretty dangerous, really. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, uh... Well, I guess they just, they all just got a bunch of random status ailments, but still. <laughs> just had to, uh, just had to look at my thing here. Next up, we have the Armor Knight. A uh, class that, oddly enough, specializes in throwing as well as defense. They got the highest natural throw in the game at 6. Uh, Lance is uh, kind of a special case here. <laughs> they like spears and axes, learning 6 spear skills as well as the ninth tier, and 5 axe skills. Aegis uh, decreases damage by 30% when attacked from the front. Very defensive, as you can see, that he's got a very high, uh, HP and defense aptitudes, as well as, a pretty decent resistance. They're definitely the tanks of the crew. Spear defense adds some of your attack to defense when you have a spear. Like I said, they like spears. Advanced guard cuts the damage to one-fifth when defending. And Last Fortress uh, gives you a defensive buff when your HP is low. It might come in handy. I don't know. I mean, in the post game, if you're uh, not getting hit with zeros, you're getting one shot. So make of that what you will, I guess. Let's go to the battlefield and put him to work. Lift Catch allows you to pick up a nearby uh, ally. Seems like uh, something I wanted Garen to do in, in the uh, strategy RPG chapter of my RPG. Sadly, it did not become a thing. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> He's going after gingerbread now. Nice counter. In addition to that, we have Legit Shield, which uh, does not buff defense. Instead, it's a uh, pretty solid damage reduction. Check this out. Heck yeah, Protect and Shell. <laughs> We got some good old Final Fantasy type action going on here, buddy. Here, I have a fist. I have another fist. Alright, that is all of the uh, level 20 tier. Next up, we have the level 25 tier. Unlocking at levels 25, 60, 120, 240, and 480. First up. The Masked Hero! You get these when you have a level 25 Thief and Warrior. They learn five each of the Gun and Fist skills. Look. Excuse me. Uh, can kind of see that uh, Gingerbread's been going through the uh, character world a little bit to learn these other skills. <laughs> Good old Gingerbread. Unlike most humanoid units, masked heroes are the flying type, so they can run right through enemies. Couple that with their usage of fists, and you have the ideal item world runner. What am I doing? I am trying to show off his aptitudes. Uh, very high res for some reason, and extremely high speed. So, uh, give him a fist, you're all good. Speedy move increases their speed bonus by 5% times the number of panels they moved on their turn. It's kind of like Assault Attack, except it also uh, gives you an Evasion bonus, which is pretty cool. Chicken Heart decreases your stats, but it increases your move by 3. Of course, uh, movement caps at 31 for some reason, so... Uh, 
uh, depending on your item equipment, this might turn out to be useless. I don't know. His other abilities are not Tom's glasses. <laughs> that came from the Kara world. Superiority, which lowers damage from lower level enemies, and power survival, which increases damage dealt to lower level enemies. Uh, couple that with their uh, affinity for running away, and uh, yeah, their treatment of uh, superheroes is not very kind. <laughs> but let's take them into Battlefield, because they are still really cool for gameplay purposes. Play Giant Hero does extra damage to monsters. We don't have any monsters here, so let's just see the uh, thing in action. Good old Tokusatsu genre. We're going to need a volunteer for the next guy. Now's my chance. Not Lance. Your hero turns any movement, any ally into a uh, into a flying type. This lets you run through, guys, although uh, it's a little hard to demonstrate here. <laughs> Let's just move on. Not that one. Our seventh class for today is the Ninja, which unlocks uh, from having a level 30 Thief and Skull. They're a very dodgy... <laughs> incomprehensible, yes. They're a very dodgy class, uh, focusing on speed primarily. Look at that aptitude. They learn four each of the Fist and Sword skills. Their primary ability, Misty Haze, uh, gives them a 50% chance to evade attacks from the front. Pretty cool. Sharp Eye uh, raises their crit chance, I guess. Doesn't seem like uh, something it would learn through the Kara world, but it's very plain. Vision Blur nullifies damage from a Nick, so uh, if you pump up this guy's speed, they're probably never going to take damage. It's pretty cool. Killing Hand adds a bit of your speed to hit when a fist is equipped. Pretty nice. Let's take him to the battlefield and see what else he can do. Box is distracting me with talk about otters. Otters are adorable. Ninja Art Switch uh, apparently trades places with the target. Oh, you know what? Actually, that might not have helped in the X Dimension. <laughs> not on the map I'm thinking of, anyway. Oh well. Oh yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was wrong. Ninja Art Camouflage. Remain hidden from enemies until you perform an action. Stealth. That's it. Uh... Yeah, okay. He is fully stealthed. That's pretty cool. It's like they didn't even see he was there. Very ninja-like. Don't need to see that animation. 
Finally, the Lady Samurai, also known as the Shrine Maiden. They specialize in one-on-one -on -one battles. <coughs> they learn six sword skills plus the ninth tier and four bow skills. You unlock them by having a Valkyrie and Archer at level 30. Calm Waters, their primary ability, increases their damage against a single enemy. Mind's Eye nullifies accuracy bonuses to uh, side and back attacks. So, uh, yeah, definitely good for a one on one fight. Her other abilities are Euthanasia, which uh, death blows targets with less than 25% HP. In the post game, I'm not really sure why you would need this, but it's there. talking for way too long. Cleanse Evil does extra damage against monster type units. Could come in handy, you never know. Let's take her to the battlefield. Right there. I don't have a sword, but what I do have is Reverse Pico Cut for all ages. You need more training. It apparently cannot KO an enemy, so uh, let somebody else steal the kill if you really want. Of course, there are better ways to level ground, so uh. And that's just a uh, a non-killing skill. Benny Shidare increased damage for every enemy defeated. It's everybody's grudge. <laughs> that was pretty neat. But yeah, that is everybody I wanted to cover tonight. Thank you all for watching. Uh, next time, we are going to cover the rest of the non-DLC humanoids. I hope to see you all then, because it's going to be a thing. Bye-bye for now.